Hello everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and I'm sure most of you have noticed that in Lion you can no longer hold down a key on your keyboard to make it repeat typing that letter several times. So if I hold down the G key right here and I'm holding it down, I'm not letting it go, I'm still only typing one G. If I want to type G, 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 I have to actually keep typing that letter. Now, uh, the reason for this, and I'm sure most of you have realized this, is that if you type a letter that has accents, you can actually select which accented ca character you would like to use. So, for example, I could just select this one, and I get an E with an acute accent, uh, whatever I want to do. However, I was kind of disappointed by this feature because I was already used to using shortcuts such as Option E and then E to make an, an acute accented E. So if you want to go back to that functionality and be able to uh, hold down a letter to make it repeat however many times, uh, you really can't do that via the system preferences. And I'm sure Apple will include an option for that in the next release of Mac but um, as for now, you actually have to do a terminal command for it. Uh, you can just spotlight for terminal or it should be in your utilities folder over here. Uh, but uh, I'll leave this code in the description. Just copy and paste it. Don't try to type it in yourself. That would just be stupid and you don't want to mess anything up. But all you have to do is type that in and hit return. And uh, now all you have to do is kind of relaunch the applications. And if we go ahead and hold down any letter now, you could see that it repeats itself and it doesn't make that character. You could still use the old way of making a character by holding option E or uh, O, not O, A, no, one of these, option I, there you go, uh, option N, any of those you could still use. And you could still use the character viewer in your menu bar as well if you need to find something more advanced. So I hope this has helped you out and be sure to subscribe for more Mac related and line related tutorials.